Welcome back, folks, to a brand new video. Since the interesting era of the Middle Ages has ended, countless cities in Europe have managed to retain its medieval elements. From the mighty walled cities to small villages with castles or Gothic meccas, there are many well-preserved medieval towns that still remain. So in this video, I will highlight just a few. So here are 12 medieval places to visit in Europe. Number 1. Sigishwara, Romania Sigishwara is a small city in the Transylvania region of Romania, with a history dating back to the 1100s. Back then, the Hungarian king was begging Saxon to move to this part of the world in order to help defend his borders. German craftsmen and artisans took him up on it, and what resulted today is a fairy tale like fortified city in the heart of Romania. It's colourful and small with a historical feel. You see, Eastern Europe doesn't have a ton of villages still in their original medieval state, as a lot of the homes in the region had thatched roofs in the Middle Ages, which didn't survive the time and war. Number 2. Tallinn, Estonia Visitors from all over the world would drop around to admire the beauty of Tallinn, the best preserved medieval city in Northern Europe, boasting Gothic spires, winding cobblestone streets and the enchanting architecture. Once a home to wealthy merchants settling from Germany, Denmark and beyond, the old town today is enjoyed by locals and visitors alike, with plenty of restaurants and bars and museums and galleries bringing much to life the historical city centre. But unlike many other capital cities in Europe, Tallinn has managed to preserve its structure of medieval and Hanseatic origin. Due to its exceptionally intact 13th century city plan, the old town was inscribed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1997. So to really spend time admiring the architecture outside, try to go specifically in the summer. Number 3. York England. Now any list of medieval towns isn't complete without one English medieval attraction. York is easily one of the best preserved medieval cities in Britain. This era was York's apogee. Wealth and status reflected in the built environment, so much of which survives today. York is covered with Roman fortifications which can easily teleport you back to the medieval period. You can also cycle around this city and explore the quaint streets and the 14th century timber frame buildings. And whilst you're there, Shambles is one of York's most famous landmarks and one of the best preserved medieval shopping streets in Europe. The inspiration behind Diagon Alley from the movie Harry Potter. Number 4. Viandon, Luxembourg. It's been called one of the most beautiful castles in the world, peeking out from the surrounding hills. It was constructed over the course of 300 years, from the 11th through the 14th centuries, 
Liandong Castle was the residence of the Counts of Liandong, who held great power in the area due to their connection with German and French royalty. But unfortunately, in the 19th century, Viandon was sold to an unscrupulous businessman who sold everything in it until the castle was in a state of disrepair, ruin as a result of age or neglect. Number 5. Bruges, Belgium I don't think there's any other city in Europe I like more in autumn than Bruges, found by the Vikings in the 9th century. It's the ultimate medieval town for history, art, architecture and food enthusiasts. Now there is plenty to see when you spend at least one day in Bruges as this town has more castles than any other one. When you're there, you ought to visit the lovely market square. Even though it seems like an ordinary market, the rustic houses with their offbeat colours are a sight to behold. But moreover, there are many cafes where you can relish that lovely authentic Belgian waffle. But remember, a visit to Bruges is not complete without a boat trip along the canals, the arteries of the city, accompanied by swans floating alongside you along the water. It's here where you'll discover the town from a surprising perspective, because some of the things you can only see from the water. Number 6. Quedlingburg, Germany Now, I can easily put 50 places just on Germany alone, but maybe I'll do that for another video. But I decided on this particular destination, purely because I'm biased. But the existence of Quedlingburg can be traced back to the 9th century and boasts of the rare history of being ruled by women for 800 long years. It houses steep-roofed half-timbered buildings from at least five centuries and a medieval old town, all still preserved in their original condition, as the town was lucky enough to escape destruction during the war. So how can I put this? If there was ever a contest for the most quaint town, the UNESCO World Heritage Town of Quedlinburg would be an unrivaled contender. It's right here where I'll be exploring even more in 2023. Number 7. Prague Prague is known as a city of a hundred spires. A very easy choice to add to this list, and here's why. Located on the banks of the Vltava River, the historic city of Prague and the capital of the Czech Republic is said to be one of Europe's best preserved cities. Practically untouched by the devastating wars of the 20th century, it's retained many of its historic buildings, its castles, cathedrals, towers and its bridges, which for the last thousand years has been the shining example of Romanesque Gothic, Renaissance and Baroque architecture. Now yes, it gets busy in the summer and so many people are along the bridges, but when you really look at it, Prague is a marvel and a worthy contender on this list.
number eight, Carcassonne, France. The great medieval walled city of Carcassonne stands high upon a hilltop on the east side of the Oder River. It dominates the valley which sits between the Pyrenees and the massive central mountain ranges in southern France. And this town is the perfect medieval getaway from the hustle and bustle of the city. Covered in greenery and hundreds of year old archaic buildings. You see, once inside the citadel walls, you can explore the extraordinary views of the narrow alleys and the symmetrical old stone buildings. The entire expanse provides a lovely experience of the Middle Ages, and the best part is it's all for free. Number 9. Riga, Latvia. Latvia's capital of Riga, the European capital of culture in 2014. It was some time ago, but it has an outstandingly beautiful old town, full of Gothic, Baroque, Renaissance, and late Romanesque architectural styles. You can see why it was named a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1997. The old town has some strikingly preserved merchant and guild houses. And standing near the centre of Riga's old town is the massive Dome Cathedral, which is one of the largest medieval cathedrals in the Baltic states. And that's one of the main reasons why you should go and visit. This red brick masterpiece, the foundations of which were laid in 1211, and it's been through numerous alterations over the ensuing eight centuries, but overall, another worthy contender on this list. Number 10, Dubrovnik, Croatia. Located on the southern end of Croatia's magnificent Dalmatian coast, the appeal of this pearl of the Adriatic is unique and awe-inspiring. Strongly built to withstand pirates and invaders, the old town with its high walls and bastions were once considered to be among the greatest fortification systems of the Middle Ages. Dubrovnik is a perfect example, one of the world's finest and most perfectly preserved medieval cities. So much so that it's been named a UNESCO World Heritage Site for its profound historical significance. Winding narrow roads and surrounded by towering walls that all lead to Dubrovnik's enchanting old city. This is the perfect place to walk around along those high walls. Reba, 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 is a Danish town in southwest Jutland with a population of well over 8,000. It is the oldest town not only in Denmark but in Scandinavia. The medieval town is extremely well preserved and the town history is also very unique. The local people are very proud of their town and do a lot to preserve the unique atmosphere and architecture. Khreba is located near the Vaden Sea National Park, which is Denmark's biggest national park and was inscribed on the UNESCO World Heritage List in 2014. Other highlights are the cathedral, a trip to the Commoners Tower which is 52 meters high, the medieval town center, the Viking Museum and of course the Art Museum. It's well worth visiting just for the name alone. And finally, number 12. Orebro Castle, Sweden. 
this imposing castle that's built on an island in the river Svart Uwen in southern Sweden stands out for its massive turrets in each corner. Dating from around the mid 14th century, during the reign of King Magnus Eriksson, the castle's exact age isn't known. And like many medieval castles, it was added onto over the centuries. Under siege nine times and conquered more than once, it has quite a colourful history. And that's more than enough reason to go and visit. And there you have it folks, that is 12 medieval places for you to check out in Europe. I highly recommend that you try to see at least a few of them if you can. If you didn't get to see a place that you particularly were fun with, I'm sure that will be in the next one in part two. As always, if you do want to look at a particular destination, check out the playlist below. And as always, thanks for watching and I will see you all on the next one. As always, be good, be kind and be careful. Peace.